Hello guys and welcome back to Hey Manager with me Alex and today episode 33 of the FM24 Borussia Dortmund save where we have now advanced forward to our second leg game as I explained last time against Nice. We've got this game coming up now and this is going to be a big one. The second leg in a Champions League of course since last time what has happened to us all together. So we did play Bayern Munich in that Six game thriller yet again. Another six game thriller, this time away from home. Augsburg, we beat 4 0. Vitorocchi getting a brace in that one. Renato Sanchez coming up to get a goal and an own goal by Felix Udukai, I believe that's how you say it. Then Stuttgart away from home. Stuttgart managed to, in the 90th minute, get a equaliser. Dan Axel Zagadu doing the business against us. Vitorocchi and Makoko doing the business yet again. Then a disappointing game in this one. Pablo Mafio sent off in the first 15 minutes which meant Nice, we had to try and defend against them for a whole 75 minutes, and oh wow, it was quite the game. 1-0 in the end, away from home, we'll take that, and today it means we have to beat them, definitely have to beat them as best as we can at the BVB Stadion Dortmund. And then in the against Hoffenheim, now Hoffenheim, they're not that far down the league, I've got to be honest with you, they're quite high up in the league, they're 11th. But we've managed to smash him 7-0. Marcus Leonardo, Ansu Fati, Makoko, and even Lionel Messi getting in on the action there. Lionel Messi, by the way, he has made it clear he wants to retire at some point. I believe it's some point next year, though. You, ha you have to bear with me on that one. But I believe it's some point next year. So it's not 2026, it's 2027 at the end of the season. So it'll be, what will he be? He'll be 40. He'll be 40 by then. So, yeah, in a year and a half time, 40 years of age, he'll be panging up his boots, apparently. But I've got him down for another two years. So when he retires, that'll be his final game. Today, it's against Nice. We're at the BVB Stadion Dortmund. Let's have a look. Uh, we haven't actually got a stadium for this yet. Are we, bu are we building a new stadium? Please don't tell me we're building a new stadium. We've been playing that quite a bit. I, I think we've actually just renamed our stadium, you know. I think we've literally just renamed our stadium. So obviously, the game doesn't recognise that when Dortmund switch stadiums, the name changes. And when the name changes, it actually doesn't show the name of the stadium. But anyway, tactical meeting today. Let's get into this one against Nice. We're going to go positive because we've got to be aware that they are very lethal on the counter-attack. Mafia is suspended, which means he can't play. We've not got many players to bring in off the bench here. We're really having to cope with what we've got out there at the moment. So we're going to bring in Rooney Bargi to play in this side. Ronaldo Sanchez is going to come in to play this ball-winning midfielder role support. I'm going to push him a little bit higher up the pitch. He does actually play, in fact, bring Andre in. Let him have a bit of a game out there. Hincap is going to play in there. Diamandé is going to have to play out on the right-hand side. Martel is going to be our backup defender in this one. Almada probably sh wants to be playing, but at the moment I can't really afford to let him play in. 7.34 in his last few games. He probably has justified a place in this side, but Rooney Bargi is back fighting fit. Should be monitored accordingly, so we'll see how it goes, but at the moment, he's one of our better players. We need to put him into the side. Vitorocchi can come off the bench. Super sub. He's got a new contract for him. 44k a week have offered him. He's going to be an important player going forward, but I mean, in all honesty, he's just going to be a bench player because at the moment we've got Marcus Leonardo. In the in the transfer window, we've got a few free transfers coming in, which I know are going to be backups to the left and right wing because I need some backups for those two places. Fati and Bargi, fantastic there. Almada is not really a player that plays there. But for now, Florian Verse and Almada, I can't really change them out at the moment. Marcus Leonardo, he's been absolutely sensational so far this season. Can't really change him. I don't want to go to a three at the back. Let's submit the team. Going positive, we're in the Champions League. We've got to get at least two goals today to put us through. If we go out to Nice, then there's something seriously wrong. I know they've got Kefrem at Turam, who is fantastic. We've got Benjamin Mendy, which is disgusting. They've got him. Calvin Stengs, I know he's a very good player. But here we go. Let's, let's let him have it now. Let's give him the revenge that they deserve. And let's go into this game of the Champions League. The 4-2-2-2 which is working out quite well for us at the moment. I've got to admit, like, I didn't expect this to work out as well as it has. I mean, the 3-3 against Bayern, it just shows the progression of the side. They're playing a 4-3-3 with a DM. Uh, Laborde, I mean, he was pretty good last game. He was good at heading them down. With the Champions League, here we have it. We've got the round of 16, second of leg, a must-win game, and a must-win by at least two. We beat Nice last year 7-0. So let's see if we can replicate that at home at the BVB Stadion. Let's see how we fare in this one. And let's get into the game. So straight away, we're going to encourage the lads. Come on, boys. 
Get going. Get into them. We need to get into them straight away because we need that one goal to really open the deadlock and see ourselves do better. So I'm going to go attacking and demand more already. I, I really want to push them this game as the highlight straight after doing so. Malhero gives it to Yusuf. Yusuf now ponders on the ball. Malhero puts it inside. Laborde's there. Hincapi tackles him straight away. Marcus Leonardo in towards Makoko. Great turn over the bar. And he should have put that into the back of the net as we've gone and had our first highlight. Ruggeri, this time round. Ansu Fati on the ball now. Plays it backwards towards Incapi. Andre, in that deep line playmaker role. Makoko, can he play it through? He slips it through to Marcus Leonardo, who puts it into the bottom right-hand corner. Looks like he timed his run to perfection. And these two link up so well. So, so well. Vita Roque, I feel so sorry for him. I thought he'd be the guy. I thought he'd be the guy. But instead, Andre into Makoko, turns around, finds Marcus Leonardo perfectly. First time. Oh, it's a perfect finish into the bottom right-hand corner. Absolutely delicate little finish into the bottom right. You can see how close the offside trap was played here. And just about we've managed to keep on Marcus Leonardo. What a finish. And that makes it 1-0 to us. And that has opened the deadlock. Now... This is where I'm going to fire up the boys and really get them fired up and really get them going. Because 1-0 up, it should open up the game completely. Diamande on the ball. Into uh, Florian Verts. Hincapi now. Can he play it forward to Ansu Fati? He's in a bit of space. He can. Ansu Fati comes inside now. Can he find the ball out wide? He can. He finds Rooney. Brilliant ball out wide. And Rooney losing out to Benjamin Mendy there. As Zerbin is on the ball now. And they're playing it out from the back, Nice. They're going to try to anyway. As we've, Can we intercept them there? We can. Schlotterbeck. Verse gets back onto it. Into Diamande. Come on, boys. Schlotterbeck. Can you get anything from this? Diamande. Back to the goalkeeper. We reset. Give it Hincapi. Go on. Switch to play now. If we can, switch to play. Go on. Now we're going to believe it, Andre. Can it? Oh, look at this play. Mikoko in towards Marcus Leonardo. He just knows where he is. And Marcus Leonardo with the fantastic finish into the bottom right and corner. And Mikoko and Leonardo. This is, this is a partnership made in heaven, as far as I'm concerned. Rooney to Mikoko. Two touches. And then finds Leonardo, who doesn't waste time. Two touches, two shots, two on target, two goals. Marcus Leonardo. What a game he's having we're doing well in this one Diamande now 2-0 up Andre 42nd minute into Schlotterbeck Julian Verst uh, Julian Florian Verst needs to get that right into Marcus Leonardo Ansu Fatu is playing fantastic football here Makoko tries to go himself but Bulk is there to stop him from scoring as you can see here Nice they're, they're looking very very tired incredibly tired I'm absolutely buzzing with that first half let's keep it going let's keep it up Diamande stands over the throw-in into Marcus Leonardo now Florian Verse, Marcus Leonardo, can he pull it across? He can. Oh, it's just about scraped off the line. Makoko, can he whip a ball in? Maybe he's going to go himself. Will he go himself? It goes into the back of the net. And that's going to be an own goal. That's unfortunate for Yusuf. Well, that is an own goal. It probably should go down as Makoko. So it looked like it was going on target. But Makoko recycles it 3-0 up at the 46th minute. Franjic tries to get in there. Makoko pull, comes inside. It punts itself off Yusuf, it was probably going wide actually by the looks of things, and he goes into the back of the net, beats Bulka, and there we have it, 3-0, already, all said and done, Rigueri into Marcus Leonardo, there's another opportunity here, Verse, he's tackled, and the ball is punted away, but only as far as Diamande, Hincapi picks up the ball now, what can you do with it, Rigueri is on it now, inside, Florian Verse manages to get it off him, Rigueri going down this left hand side, he's got a good cross on him, go on son, try and find a cross into the box, Gives it to Verse. Ruggeri now. Great cross in. Rooney's at the back post. And Bulka manages to pick that up as Taram is down, injured with it, looks like. Florian Verse. And let's take him off. Because he looks in a pretty bad way, to be honest. Let's bring Lionel Messi on. Let's let him have a bit of a game out there. Also, Rooney Bargi. Let's take him off. Bring on Almada, because we know he wants to have a bit of a game time out there as well. And Fati not having the best of games. Let's take him off. Let's bring on Vita Roque on that left-hand side. Play him as a bit of a winger support. Same with Almada, a bit of a winger support. And then Andre. He's having a decent game out there. But we'll take him off. Put Ronaldo Sanchez on. And we'll see the game out this way, shall we? Let's see how we fare. For the last few minutes of this game... Back, back end of the 35, I'm pretty happy how we've played. I'm very happy with how we've played in this one. As the ball swinged, swung in, swinged in, swung in, whatever it is, it's swung in. Messi on the edge of the box, Slotterbeck, Almada, one-touch football here. Diamande, can he get across in? He finds Almada, whips it in towards the back post with 
Roque's there. Leonardo touches it down into Messi. And Cara Messi. No, he's not going to dribble it. Almada. Out wide. In towards Marcus Leonardo. What a ball in by Almada, by the way. And Marcus Leonardo's there to tuck away what I'm hoping is going to be his hat trick. And it's confirmed. Didn't even have to go to VAR in the end. And they've confirmed it is his hat trick. Almada. Touch off his chest. Brilliant goal by Marcus Leonardo. Smashed into the back of the net. 4 0 to us now. 4 0 up now. We're clearing our way through, and you can see here there's a few results elsewhere. 4 0 to Real Madrid. PSG playing Arsenal. AC Milan playing Manchester United. Some big teams going to go out in this round. And obviously, we're going to have to see if we can find out who we're going to be playing next time. It's going to be an interesting one. It's going to get, you know, this is the furthest we've been into the Champions League with this win today, unless we obviously concede five now. But yeah, Ruggeri on the ball. There's probably one last highlight out of us here. Messi, Vitor Roque, look at the play. Oh my God, it's delicious. Oh, beautiful play. Oh, that was so good. That was so good. Ruggeri, look at this one touch. Makoko, one touch. Ruggeri, Messi, Roque, two touches from in. Almada, first time, top right hand corner. What a goal that was. 90th minute, 5-0 against Nice. We've blown them away. Not quite 7 from the other year, but 5-0. I don't think it gets much better than that. Boys, fantastic game. Round of applause. I'm very happy with that one. As we can see here, Manchester United go through against AC Milan, knocking them out. PSG knocked out by Arsenal. That is huge. Mbappe... Not going through 800 grand a week. Wow. Florian Verts out for three to six days with a pulled groin. That's unfortunate, but we are through and we are looking good. We need to ask the director of football to get these players in. When is the next round being drawn? That's the question. I don't know when that'll be. The schedule wise, let's have a look. We've got three games in between. I'll probably come and join you back for the second leg of the Champions League quarter final. Very happy with that. Let's see how we can fare in the next one. And oh wow, Musiala going to PSG potentially as well. That would be huge for us because he's the biggest threat at Bayern Munich at the moment. Evan Ferguson, we managed to keep, a, you know, keep him locked down a little bit. He did score against us, but we managed to keep him at bay for the meantime. But yeah, PSG getting Musiala, that would be huge. Bayern Munich could probably reinvest elsewhere. But yeah, either way, let's see how we do. So there we have it now. Thank you guys for 174 sub-managers. I know we reached it a few days ago, but I'm trying to record these in advance. We've got a very busy week ahead. So yeah, thank you very much. I'm really excited about this save now. You know, getting deeper into the Champions League, that's the wish. You know, we've won the title last first season, knocked out the Pokal, knocked out the Champions League. Second season, knocked out the Champions League in the round of 16 against Arsenal, but we got through the playoffs. That's the main thing. We won the Pokal, we won the league. This year, we're set up to have a pretty good game in the Pokal uh, semi-final. Borussia Mönchengladbach in the semi-final. Then Champions League, we just need to see how far we can go. The quarter-final draw, going to be an interesting one. And then obviously in the league, six points ahead at the moment. Let's just hope we can keep that going. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a like, subscribe if you are new. I'll catch you in the next one. From me, Alex, have a great day.